Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to Gal. In this video, I'm sharing with you tips on how to take better video with your iPhone. So the first step to shooting awesome video with your iPhone is shooting in a landscape format using a pro video recorder app. So I use the pro movie video recorder app on my iPhone and it shoots in a landscape format. And if you ever need to do a vertical video or a square video, you can always crop down the landscape into a vertical or a square format. So let's jump into this app so I can give you a closer look at what all the controls are and how you use them. So the first thing we wanna control is the exposure. Now I like to underexpose my shots so that way I have more flexibility to add in more um, exposure later on inside of Premiere Pro. So just by moving this up or down on the right, we can increase the exposure or lower the exposure. So I'm gonna underexpose my shot. I think at this, it looks pretty awesome. And then the next step is the ISO. So if you click on ISO, you can control the ISO, which is the sensitivity of the camera's chip. So if I increase it, it gets more brighter. So I need to keep a lower ISO so it's less grainy. Then there's white balance. So if you click on white balance, you can adjust depending on the scene that you're in. So, but I'm just gonna stick with auto, but it's always good to know that you can actually do manual and see the actual Kelvin temperature on the right with the white balance controls. And then a really cool function is focus. So if you tap on focus here, you can actually make the scene out of focus and then in focus just by moving that back down. And if you tap on your subject, it'll focus it in that area. And what's really cool is you can actually lock the focus if you want to. So right now it's unlocked. So if I want to lock this, just tap that to lock it and it locks the focus in that place, which is really awesome. And then lastly, there's the zoom. So if you tap on zoom here, you can actually zoom in and out professionally just by controlling the slider on the right. So just choose the zoom that you like. I personally think that this zoom level is great because it's actually the golden gate is in the rule of thirds right now. You can see how the horizontal and the vertical line on the left actually intersect with the golden gate. So it makes a great shot. So once again, I'm just gonna make sure that my exposure is good and then I'm going to lock it because you can lock the exposure as well, which is awesome. Then I'm gonna hit record. And right now I'm recording in 4K at 24 frames per second and I'm shooting on the Joby Gorillapod Video Pro right now, and I will show you in just a second how you can actually use it to create some awesome tilt and pan shots. So now that we have the video app and we're shooting landscape, what I'd highly recommend doing is getting a Joby Gorillapod Video Pro, because what you can do is you can get the mobile Joby adapter, put it on the tripod plate, and then you have a fluid head so you can tilt and pan. You see that? It's super cool. So once you screw this in place and you get your tripod leveled out, you can then put your video camera or just your iPhone inside of this adapter like so. And it just kind of expands to fit in place. And now you can take some beautiful panning shots to add some cool movement to your shots that you would otherwise not get with the standard Joby tripod. So you can move like a video pro. See the movement here? I can start up in the sky and go all the way down to this boardwalk and it's a completely steady shot. Hey, and there's even some birdies here. And with this zoom on this phone, I can zoom in fluidly and get some nice shots here of the birds which is so amazing. And I can follow the wildlife with my tripod and the fluid head. And then zoom back out. Oh, look at that bird. That's a great shot. Perfect. So I've gotten all the close-up shots, all of the tilting and panning shots with my Joby Video Pro Gorillapod on my iPhone, but let's say I wanna get a nice aerial shot and I don't have a drone. So rather than going out, buying a drone and coming out here and like testing the drone and getting a bunch of different shots, 
What I do is I actually use stock video from Storyblocks. So all you have to do, rather than having to buy and do all that stuff, you just go on to Storyblocks, you can sign up for a membership and get unlimited video. So I just search for Ariel Beach and it gives me a bunch of different beach shots that I could use in my video. And I do this while I'm editing. So that way, while I'm editing, I don't have to be like, oh, whoops, I forgot to go get this shot and go out and get it. Usually I use stock video clips for establishing shots and there's so much to use and a lot of times people are like, oh, stock video, it, it looks too stocky, but actually the stock video out there today is awesome. So I highly encourage you guys to go check it out. Storyblocks has stock video, imagery, and lots of templates that you can use. So I'll put a link in the description box below if you guys wanna check that out. So let's say that you want to vlog instead of do like professional shots. Well, what you can do is get the Joby mobile rig, first of all, put your phone in the mobile setup and you can get a little light to illuminate your face because right now it's the sun's almost setting so it's nice to get a little bit of light on my face. So I have this on and right now when I'm recording, if I hit record, it's quite close up on my face. So I don't want the camera so close, but you can get a Sandmark wide angle lens. It's really awesome. You can get like two times the field of view and you can put it on just by screwing it on this clip and this is not just like a flimsy little lens. This is like a heavy duty, like professional lens. It's an awesome company. So you guys should check this out. So let me just put this on. Okay, there we go. So now you can see it's at a much wider point of view. So you can vlog, you can talk, you have your face illuminated, you can move around and you just, have more to like show. And there's also telephoto lens by Sandmark. There's also some neutral density filters, polarizing filters that you can get to put on top of the lens to make uh, landscapes that are like extra bright, just a little bit toned down so you get more dynamic range in your images, which is more imagery inside of the dark and the bright areas, right? So that is for a handy tip for you vloggers out there. Now let's go on to the next tip. Another option, instead of using the clip-on lens for the wide-angle vlogging style, is you can use the Sandmark iPhone case adapter to screw your lens in. So this comes with the kit, which is super awesome. So you put it, your iPhone inside, and then you're gonna take the lens and thread it on the back. So let me just take the lens off of this clip right now. And then I'm just going to thread it in the back and once it's on, it's super secure because it's attached to the case. So then you can begin filming wide angle using the pro setup here. So I can clip this on the mobile adapter as well. And I can start taking some pretty awesome tilt and pan shots here. Hello there, videographer. So you can just get really awesome wide angle shots with your iPhone. So if you're taking even photography or videography of real estate in small rooms, you can use this wide angle lens to make the room seem bigger, which I think is what most people want, especially if you're an Airbnb renter and you wanna rent your room, you always want it to show more space. So let's say that you want to do a moving shot where you're sort of moving. Well, the iPhone camera actually comes with a built-in stabilizer, but it's still your hands. So you may be able to get a pretty steady shot. So what I like to do to create movement, let's say I wanted to just get a nice tracking shot of the waves here. So I'm just gonna hold it as steady as I can and walk. So the idea here is that you're creating movement with your shots, right? It's just not a dull shot, a steady shot of the waves. Those are great, but it's nice to create movement. And if you go into post-production and there's still a little bit of a shake and wobble, you can always use the warp stabilizer tool in Premiere Pro, drag and drop that effect, and then render it out, and you'll see that it's just a lot smoother. But again, you wanna make sure to be as steady as possible because if it's too wobbly, the warp stabilizer will make it kind of look all warped and weird, and you don't want that. So one other tip I have is that I really like to underexpose my shot. So 
That way, when I go into Premiere Pro to color grade, I have more information to work with because it's, if it's completely overexposed or too dark, then I'm not gonna be able to bring back in much detail, right? So I try to just be careful with how I am exposing my shot so there's just enough information you can color grade to perfection. So I hope that you guys found these tips useful and you start taking better video with your mobile phones. And don't forget to check out Storyblock so you can supplement some of the video that you can't capture with your phone, but with stock video and other awesome templates that you can find on Storyblocks. And I'll put all the links to all the equipment that I used in this video in the description box below, as well as a link to Storyblocks. So I'll see you guys next time. In the meantime, have fun creating with your iPhone. Bye.